So number one, probably going to be no surprise here. It is your weekly performance from a game point of view. Um, and for, for a lot of you leading into your draft year, you're already going to have a strong reputation that on how you play the game, hence why you're in programs like State League, NAB League, uh, and your Metro uh, competitions. So no doubt your game performance is strong, um, but that ultimately needs to be your number one priority is your week-to-week performance. Uh, and don't underestimate how important that is in terms of maximising your draft selection. So don't get all the other tips that I've got you for you to prioritise. Uh, if you can get one right, that would be your number one. So don't want to sacrifice that at any moment. Uh, that's your most important uh, thing to be focusing your energy on is your uh, weekly performance and really uh, getting a strong, consistent um, uh, game going early on in the season and holding it all the way through the year. Number two, uh, I believe it will be your lifestyle. So because the game is so demanding um, and you need to have a pretty mature head on your shoulders to be able to handle the demands, the pressure, um, I think it's really important that you've got a, a pretty good uh, lifestyle habits down pat. So things like your reputation around how well you prepare yourself for an upcoming game, your little things like your hydration, your nutrition. So perception can play a big, strong role with this. So make sure that um, you're seen doing the right things, which, as you know, you know, leading up to a game, make sure you're well hydrated, uh, make sure you're eating good food um, on a consistent basis, uh, and that you're looking after your, your sleep and your recovery. Number three, your reputation when it comes to life outside of football. So um, do you have other hobbies that you enjoy? Uh, who are your closest five friends that you hang around with and you're spending your time? What are they getting up to? Um, what's, and what lives do they live? Your um, school, so what are your teachers? Uh, what would they say about you? Not necessarily about your grades, but your work ethic, your diligence to do your, do your work, um, be on, you know, little things like making sure you're, you're consistently at school on time, asking questions, showing curiosity, all those little things um, will show to scouts and to coaches that uh, they're drafting a good egg. So that would be something that I would take into account. Number three, so the things outside of your football that goes into not just teachers, but parents, family life, your friends, uh, and of course, your football coaches. Number four, which some of you might have thought that this would be higher up the list, but number four, I've actually got your combine testing results. And typically, I've prioritized the agility, the 20 meter uh, for those smaller players. Um, I think the, the game is clearly only going faster. So the need to have players that are super agile, that have got that lateral speed, that cutting ability, both offensively but also defensively, is really advantageous for the current game. Um, but also your 20 metre, um, so ability, your first three steps and be able to get to your top speed in a short distance, like 20 metres, uh, is really important for uh, that transition game that's talked about a lot in the current game. So uh, I think they're key. I think for your key position players, um, making sure you, you test well with your jumping. And I'll talk a little bit around some tips and how important max strength training is for that. Number five, your GPS, so your game day output, what's your work rate per minute like, both for total volume, you know, so midfielders can be around 120 metres per minute. Um, what's your high speed work rate? So that's moving at around 20 k's per hour. Um, so what does that look like for your more uh, repeat high intensity efforts per minute? Um, so making sure that like your game day performance, we want, we want to see consistency um, in your uh, GPS outputs. And then number six, the last one, um, which maybe some of you thought this might be up higher up the list as well, is the injuries you've had in that year uh, and your medical history. So I think we've learnt from the Chris Judds, the Luke Hodges in the past. Oh, no, sorry, Luke Hodge, but Chris, Chris Judd. So highly touted players. Um, perhaps maybe it might have been Franklin as well. There's been a few in the past that have turned out to have... Um, you know, to be great players at the game uh, and the one knock on them during their draft year is uh, some injuries they may have had early on in their juniors or in their draft year. Uh, 